VIPG is the most common, what we call high grade glioma that occurs in children. That peaks in children at about the age between five and seven years, usually comes on very quickly over a couple of weeks, sometimes just with very mild symptoms. The outcome for these kids is terrible and we have to go and tell their parents really what's one of the hardest conversations in the world to have, which is that essentially your child has an incurable disease. Essentially, almost all of these children will die, usually within about a year of that diagnosis. One of the uh, key challenges for us as researchers has been the fact that we, we haven't had any biological material to do any drug testing. Several years ago now, we set up a, a tumour donation program. The parent could offer to have that uh, tumour collected and put in our tumour bank and actually allow research to be performed on these tumours for the first time in Australia to start to come up with new treatments. We have found a few drugs that seem to be remarkably effective at uh, reducing the growth of DFG tumours. We have been working on drugs that target what's called the polyamine pathway. Our team has found two drugs, diethanol, a drug that stops the synthesis of polyamines, and AMXT1501, a drug that stops the polyamines from entering the cells, together in combination are being very effective at stopping the growth of DFG tumours. When you combine these two drugs, the result is really spectacular. What we've seen is actually what we think is the most active drug that anyone's ever tested in the lab for DIPG. The tumours stop growing. The next steps will be to take this therapy uh, to the clinic and offer it to children with DIPG uh, through phase one and phase two clinical trials. Um, we're working um, very closely with the company who's making this new drug. Uh, we're working with international uh, researchers and clinicians from around the world, and we're aiming to open a trial in the next year, uh, which for the first time will offer this new treatment for children uh, with DIPG and other brain tumors as well. I would like to thank um, a lot of philanthropic associations and um, uh, funding agencies for you know believing in this work. It's only thanks to the support we get through the community and through parents and fundraisers and, and other groups that allow us to, to keep this research going and to do what we do. When we started this program um, in DIPG, um, you know, it was driven really by the parents. And without them, we wouldn't have been in the position of being able to uh, do any testing and more importantly, identify this particular treatment. We believe this is one of the first really important breakthroughs. Um, and ultimately, uh, we won't be having those conversations with parents anymore saying this is incurable, there is no hope. But for the first time, we will start to offer hope. For the first time, we'll uh, start to offer cures um, and that's what we are going to keep working towards and, until we reach that goal.